Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install the latest version of Git on your Windows 11 PC. So first of all, you just need to go to any browser and here in the Google, you have to search for Git download. So this will take you to this website which is called gitscm.com. So just click on this Git link here and after opening the website, you'll find this download for Windows option. Click on it. And under the download for Windows, here you will find the click here to download link. So this is the latest version of Git, which is also for the 64 version for Git for Windows. Click this link here. And it will start to download on your PC as you can see, which is only 65 MB. So you just need to wait for a couple of seconds here. After finishing the download, just go to the folder. Then double click to open the exe file. Minimize it. And as you can see, here is the setup of Git here. So you just need to accept the license here, click next. Now this is the location where your git file will install, so just click next. And leave this all as the defaults here. We can also check for additional icons, so this will give you an icon on the desktop, so I'll just check mark it. Click on next. So this will create a start menu folder, so yes I want that, click next. Now here you need to choose the editor that you want to use for git. You can use Notepad or Visual Studio Code or any other text editor. But for that, I'm just going to use the default options. So just click next here. I can choose override or the let get decide. Now you can choose let get decide for the initial branch or override the default branch. I'll just use the let get decide. Click next. And make sure to choose the second option here. Git from the command line and also from third party software. Click next. Also choose the first option, click next. Again, it will tell you to use the OpenSSL library, which is for the HTTPS connection. So choose the first option, click next. Also choose the first option if you're a Windows user and Windows style, we're using the Windows version, so click next. Again, choose the first option, click next. Again, click next. And Git Credential Manager is chosen, click next. Now you can choose both options, but for this instruction, I'm just going to enable file system caching. So click install and it will start to install on your PC. So you just have to wait for a couple of seconds. And as you can see, git bash is now successfully installed on our PC. And you can also see the shortcut icon in my desktop. So just click finish. Now you just have to go to the search bar and search for CMD. Open the command prompt here. Now type here git and press enter. And now as you can see this command showing that git is successfully installed on my PC. So if this showing on your computer after typing git on the command prompt, that means git is successfully installed on your Windows 11 PC. So that's it guys. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to this channel and thank you for watching.